Retro Time. Welcome to Retro Time, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Okay, some of you might have noticed my face looks a bit weird. This thing here isn't a weird zit. This is because I cut myself shaving. I had that big bushy beard all winter and I went Arrgh! without really watching what I was doing. Cut, 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 cut. Yes, cut, cut, cut up like a very cut up sausage. Right, we're going to play Citadel by Superior Software for the BBC B. This was a great game. It's a bit of an adventure game and it's got some great music. Have a listen now. Something special is going to happen. Okay. Whew, enough of that. Right, ZX star question mark return space. Nice. Let's go with option one. Are you male or female? I'm a male. I'm a male lady. Okay, are you male? Correct? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, I don't remember this version. This version is obviously, it says, it's a very early version. It's even got a warning, but it doesn't matter. Uh, no. No. It's obviously some sort of bootleggy hacked version, or someone's modified this. But yeah, this is Citadel. It's basically an adventure game. It was really cool. You're sort of going through all these... Uh, dungeons and castles and you have spells and you spit in witches eyes and you pick up things I believe there was a maximum points in the game it was either 99 points or a thousand points something like that or it had 99 rooms there was something special about this and I remember playing this for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours it's really quite good um, the game mechanics are a little bit clunky but still relatively fluid for games of the time the graphics were great um, I don't think I actually finished this without help of the sort of BBC micro user magazine had a sort of walkthrough of it because uh, it is a bit tricky especially when you're I don't know however old you are very young in 1985 or 84 83 whenever it was so let's go for it mm -mm 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 -mm. right so that's you you're this guy that's your spell I'm saying spitting but it's not it's a spell okay you can go up and down return Return is jump, but you can see I just picked up a block of things. So on that red uh, box you can see there, underneath this blue blue thing, that's a pad where you can pick things up and then Right, fine. Now this spell spitting thing, I'll show you. It's a bit rubbish because you've got a creature here. It doesn't really do anything. It only works on very specific enemies. You've got an energy bar, top left corner. Let's grab that key. There we go. So it's nice, it's not a one hit, you get killed thing. But it's all about timing, running and jumping. So you can see here, there's a room here, there's a lever next to that well. If you look at that green circle to the left, you'll see a thing sticking out of the wall. You've got levers, doors, keys. Weird stuff. Uh, like that sort of strange head that's going to do magic. Screen based. A lot of the games at the time were like sort of Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy. Uh. You can see that weird creature. So they've got some different game logic for the enemies. I think this is... these are trampolines. Yeah, they're not really super great trampolines unless I'm using it wrong. No, I think they just... Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, you want to watch out for those Angus heads? All right. I was just trying to see if I can harness the jumping power to jump around that. No, bugger. If you lose too much energy in one sitting, you get stuffed like that. Can you break these? No, nothing. No, nothing going on with those. I thought you could pick those up, but I might have been thinking of Zelda. So this is a game that you need to sort of consider consider your moves carefully and try to remember where you've been and 
what what challenges you've already done and what keys you've picked up. Ah, E, energy, nice. I think those fire has some nice uh, fire, some pretty good graphics there. I always thought those, um, okay, so now you can see, you've only got a limited number of spaces is in your inventory, so you've got to start deciding what do you want to keep. <sighs> hmm. Ouch. Okay, so I, I ended up picking up the plant pot again, so let's just have that. The plant pot, you, you see you've got like different things, so it might interact in a certain way, so you might use the plant pot in the water, and fill with water, and then you throw the plant pot at something else. It's, it's that kind of game. It's certainly not got the the nice graphics of some of the titles that were around at the time, or... Single quotation mark. Enter. Enter. Sing slash. I'm pretty sure this is not... Single... Single... <laughs> <laughs> Windows. Narrator settings. Win Exiting yeah. narrator. God, I hope narrator's turned off permanently. Yes. In Windows, if you hold down certain keys, you go into the accessibility mode, and uh, you don't want that in this game. I always thought those cauldrons looked like they had smiley faces. What do you think? They look pretty happy to me. Okay. I think if you're into... Sort of ah, here we go. This is a. I think we can spit in this guy's eye. Hang on. Ready. Magic spell you. Look at that. See how we took him out? Magicked him straight in his eyes. You've got to get him directly in his eyeballs. No other parts of him work. Oh. Hmm. Not sure how I can get past this. No. Ah. Uh, he's having the last laugh, isn't he? Everything kills you. Uh, okay, now there's a, there's a lock, but you can see it doesn't. It's not the same colour as the keys I have. I've got a cyan and white, and that's a cyan and red. So we're not going to get through there. Look at those snakes! Look at him. He, he accelerates when he sees you. He loves ya. Loves to kill ya. So there you go. There's a lot of this. A lot of running around. I think there's one place I'd like to try to get to you, get you. If I die on the way, then so be it. Oh, I think you can get outside. I think there's a, a sort of a beachy thing. Oh, not this one again. Oh. I shall attempt to... Uh, Come on, come on! Yeah. Oh yeah, I did already try this one, didn't I? Come on! Yeah! Got it! Oh. And we have the key for that! Come on! Don't die, don't get shot. Is that a shotty, shooty cannon? There we go, so that was unlocking a door. A room of mystery, look, with a sort of jellyfish, electric eel, dude. So, cannons, because it's a castle, of course. Let's go! You can see there's a sort of, so it says 4 1, 4 0. That's telling you where you are on the sort of game map if you want to get a pen and paper and make your own map. Oh. Look at this. Super Mario, eat your heart out. Underwater swimming levels. Look at that. Pretty sure you can't jump over those flower heads, so I'm not even going to bother with my limited energy. Okay. 
Look into my eyes. Look into the eye. Ah! No. <sighs> no. So that was Citadel for the BBC Micro from Superior Software. It's a pretty good game. Have a go if you like adventure games. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.